Here's one of the harder questions I found. If ax minus 1 times bx plus 2 equals cx squared minus x minus 2 for all values of x and a plus b equals 10, what is the value of c? Don't get discouraged. We just got to start somewhere. Let's start by multiplying this out right here and distribute those two binomials. ax times bx is just going to be a b x squared. Then we do ax times 2, positive 2ax. Negative 1 times bx is negative 1bx, and negative 1 times 2 is negative 2. That is going to match up with this trinomial on the right side. These two terms in the middle have a common term, which is x, so we can factor that out. Factor out a common factor of x, and we're left with 2a minus 1b in the inside. And let's keep everything else the same. So now you want to observe what you got. This right here matches up this trinomial. That means that a, b is the coefficient that matches up c because those are what's in front of the x squared. So we can write a, b equals c. We can also write this statement right here. 2a minus 1b equals the coefficient of my x term. And if that doesn't have a number, it's a 1. So we can say 2a minus 1b equals negative 1 and negative 2 equals negative 2. We don't got to write that one down. From here, we got all the information we need. Now we move on to this given part of the problem, a plus b equals 10. And we can match that up right here because that creates a system of equations. And luckily, we don't have to do too much work because you can see that the b terms are going to cancel by elimination. We get 3a equals 9 divided by 3. Now we got a equals 3. Almost done. Now that you know that a is 3, we can use that given information once again. Plug in A, and you'll get B equals 7. That's all we need to answer this question, because now we can use this statement to find the value of C. A is 3, B is 7, 3 times 7 equals 21. That is my final answer. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next episode. Peace.